What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here hanging out today doing stuff and things playing some Ark Survival Evolved peeps Hope you guys are having a good day. Oh on the pooping evolve server by the way. Hope you guys are having a good day I'm having a great day Um, So yeah, there's a giga near the base somewhere somebody had said oh there it is right there. Oh, man It's a giga and it's teamed up. Oh, it's only a level eight sweet. So a giga teamed up with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. We're gonna totally destroy its face ish with our new Fortress V2. That's what it V2. I'm so excited my voice cracked. That's what it's all about, peeps. Don't stop trying to get me. Hold on, maybe we're not gonna kill it. Hold on, let me see here. We're killing it, right? Hold on. So, um, yeah, hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. Thank you guys so much for all your likes and support on the new video. The last video, I really do appreciate it. You guys are killing it. And uh, it helps me out. Really, it does. So thank you very much. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Smash the thumbs up button for the ultimate beginnings is... Let me see here. Oh, there we go. We're getting it. Oh, baby, it's a thing. We got it on the run. We pushed it up the rock. Oh, we got it up against the wall. Oh, yeah, baby. Get out of the way, trees. Oh, baby, look at this. So cool. We can land, I think. Oh, it's firing at something else. Oh, there's a Bronto over there, too. There we go. Oh, if it gets up against, gets away from the wall, it's going to be crazy. So, yeah, hope you guys are having a great day. Had so much fun making Cupcake. In the last episode, it was so, so very cool. It looks like... Softus is kind of moving around a little bit, and it's making him move around. The Giga. But yeah, I'm glad you guys had fun with Cupcake. I think we're going to play around with Cupcake today a little bit as well, and some of the the uh, Penguin Army. Oh, wait. Is that lag, or did it just stop? Because I feel like we've got to take the Penguin Army out. I feel like it needs to be a thing. So we're going to go and play with those guys as well. So only a level eight, and if you can tell, we haven't even like damaged it really yet. It doesn't look like it's even got any sort of like blood, which is really kind of unbelievable. But um, I've been pumping stamina on uh, Fortress so that we won't have to worry about like, come on, hit it, hit it with all your things. Oh, there he goes, look at him. I don't think I'm hitting it anymore. But I've been pumping stamina on Fortress so he doesn't have to like, he doesn't have to land. Oh, there we go. Oh, right there. We're giving it to him with all the barrels. I think I have seven of mine activated. It looks like Softus has six activated, something like that. And he's inside. He's stuck inside that little end bit there. We're just going to sit here and we're going to kill him. So this is so cool. Such a great way to take care of the Giga. And it's so nice that the guys actually messaged me um, and then uh, let me know about it so I could come out here and do this with you. So, all right, cool, guys. We're going to sit here. Um, I'll time it. I guess it's maybe been like five minutes right now. I'll time it and let you know how long it takes. And then we'll be RBs, peeps. <laughs> and we're back. Oh, man. And we're back. It took about a little over 10 minutes to get that guy down. So, um, all right, we're good to go. We're going to head over. Um, XB actually said that there's another one around somewhere. So over by my mountain forge area. So me and Softus are going to head over that way. He's got a lot of speed on that guy. You know what? I, th I kept saying I was going to pump stamina on this guy. It doesn't really make much sense. Once you, now that I've done one, it kind of makes more sense to me. But once you've done one, once you've gotten position with the Giga, there's not a really a reason. Peace out all the things. There's not really a reason to, where did he go? He just disappeared. Um, but there's not a reason to really pump stamina because you can just stand still or you can just get off of the of the dino and he'll just go ahead and uh, regain stamina. So probably movement speed will be what we'll start pumping um, and make sure he's got some HPs as well. But we got to find this other Giga uh, and then we'll BRBs peeps. And we're back. There it is. I'm going to try to beat it up to the get it up on the hill there. Oh, oh, oh the legs, the legs. No, 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 don't get me, hear me. There's right there. There's a one of those spots where um, you lag out a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. All right, there we go. We're hitting him. Give it to him with both barrels, baby. Oh yeah, we're killing it, man. So um. 
So this guy's also a level eight, I do believe. And we're pushing him up the mountain. Oh, no, no, oh no! We got too close. We lost some of our guys. Oh, he took out three of them in like one bite. He he, I was kind of pushing it. Oh, no, 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 I'm pushing it again. I was kind of pushing it a little bit. We're gonna have to regrow some turrets. I want to try to get him to push the other way. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna try to get him in between us both. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, he got me. Oh, and there's like a little rage meter in the upper corner from that too. That's really weird. I don't know what's up with that. I didn't, I've never seen that. I've never been bitten by a Giga before, so I don't even know what that is. Uh, we're not hitting him now. We're glitching out a little bit here or something. Let me see. There we go. There we go. We got him. We got him. All right. We're going to sit here and take this guy out as well. That was so cool, man. I got to check the damage on those things too, and then we'll just replant. Actually, you know what we can do? I don't want to get him pushed up too far. It's too bad we can't get him to like... There we go. In between two of us. We could take three seeds. And we could just jump off right now. <laughs> and replant right away. <laughs> this is so dangerous. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, is something happening? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know. I saw him stop firing for a second. Oh, okay, he just moved a little bit. All right, so shall we. Let's try to get him up. Yeah, Soft has got the right idea. It was so much easier with the other guy. Oh, the guy's all my all my turrets stopped firing. With the other guy, we had him beat, like, stuck in that little crevasse. And then this guy, we have to, like, kind of move around a little bit. But I'm sure we'll get him. All right, so it's going to be about 10 minutes. Um, I'll be our beast, peeps. I don't know if you guys can see this. We're actually pushing him up the mountain. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man, that's too funny. We pushed him, like, all the way up the mountain. We could lift him off the ground with our turrets. That's so crazy cool, man. I love this. This is so much fun. Look at him. You can't get us, stupid Giga. We got a super turret. Fortress is taking you out, homie. You can't. You can't. You can't even. You can't even. And you can see, like, he keeps getting pushed around. This is so much fun, man. Look, or it's like it's like we're pushing him around. I don't know. I just think it's <laughs> so cool, so crazy, funny how much he's moving around from these turrets, pushing him. Oh gosh, I sure hope the devs don't like change that. <laughs> don't watch devs. Don't watch. So anyway, all right, all right, all right, all right. Over your bees when they, he's dead for real. All right, so that was so cool. Much mucho thankos to Softest for coming out and giving us a hand. That was really, really nice of him. Making sure all of our stuff and things are safe. Oh, so I think I said that we were gonna go on a cupcake with the Penguin Army, you know? I think we may wait on that because of the recent development. The recent development being that the Mountain Forge is, is kind of in peril. It's a little bit in perils. I don't know. I don't know. I do know that I think he's getting food, too. I need food. Um, so one of the things that I want to do, I want to kind of get a better our forge to be better. So I want to build an industrial forge over here. Um, I'm not sure exactly what materials I need to gather in order to make sure that we have the industrial forge ready to rock. I guess we'll just talk really quickly while I get some food. So um, I'm not sure exactly what we need to build a second industrial forge. Um, it's quite they're quite expensive. Um, but I think I have enough cementing paste from making that. The other day we did the cementing paste thing. So I think we should be good to go there. And um, other than that, I guess we'll have to look. I do need to get some food going on this guy. He's a little bit hungry. So we're just going to get him a little bit of foods. There we go. That should be enough. I think. Look at the destruction, man. It's all destruction. Enjoy it. Let's see here. All right, and all right. Before we go, let's also just take a look really quick at how much damage these got. The had these had done to them. Large clock plot, plot five thousand thirty-eight, thirty-two, twenty-six. 
So that's kind of weird. Like, it has, like, an AoE that dissipates. So, like, at the bite place, it did a lot of damage. And then as it moved away, the damage got less from the bite location. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. I would have assumed that if you got bit, you got bit. And this is the amount of damage that it did. But that's not the way it works. But one thing I did want to show you guys is that um, this was down to 10,000. Um, Fortress got bit. I do believe, I think it was one bite. Maybe two bites for um, 5,000 hit points. So maybe a little movement speed. Maybe some HPs as well. Uh, I'm going to go down. We're going to repair. We are going to take a look at what we need for the Industrial Forge. And then we're going to get that done next. I will BRBs, peeps. And we're back on a dark and rainy night. Just checking on and moving some stuff and things around. We've got the metal. We've got the crystal. We've got the scementing paste. We need 400 oil, of which we have 182. And we need 400 polymer, of which we have 30. I do believe I'm going to try to use organic polymer for this. And because it only stacks in stacks of 10, um, which makes it extremely hard to do this, uh, we are going to try to pull everything out of the uh, of this. Uh, as you can see right here, we don't have any other crapo in here. I've actually moved it all over into here. Um, we may not, you can't see it because I can't get in there. Here it is, all inside of here. We may not be able to use all organic polymer because if we take a look here, we need to have how many more? 370, right? So we need 37 slots. 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, what, wait, 34, yeah, 36. So we'd need 37 slots. Um, I, I guess we could pull this out as well. Um, so that would be 37 slots, but then we're going to need one, two more slots for the oil. I don't know. What I'm saying basically is that I don't know if it's all going to fit. Um, we'll, we shall see. Actually, I think I can pull that out. I still have the same amount of crystal. Oh, we have way more crystals, so we can make room. We can pull out these two crystals too. Uh, and then put in 50s. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyway, six or a half dozen. The point being is that we have to go to, uh, the Northern Territories is... We have to get off Steve here. We have to go get Ultimate Destroyer. Uh, we need a bunch of oil. And I think I'm going to take some time to get like a ton, a ton. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. Also, I've lost the gun. Where are you, the gun? Oh, I've like for real lost the gun. Did I stick you inside of Ouncey when I was taming? Maybe. We'll have to look around for that bad boy. We like for realsies just lost one of our long rifles. And I just noticed it. Oh, somewhere along the way. All right. Um, Any hoozle. So uh, we're heading over to the north. We're going to get the oil. We're going to get the uh, organic polymers. And then we will be our bees, peeps. And we're back. And I think we've got the room, peeps. I think we've got all the stuff and things that we need. Let's just mass tea, teen it all in there. Uh, are you teed? 390? What? There's got to be room. Why is there not room? One of these is a five. One of these is a five. There's a deadly five in here. Is there? No, because it would go in. All right, so let's take a look at this. Let's just kind of make sure we got this correctly. 2,500 metal. Oh, we've got extra crystal. There we go. Nail the day stick, can't we stop? Let's turn it on. And you guys were telling me, actually, that this Industrial Forge gives 10 experience points, I do believe. So let's take a look here as soon as the game stops being frozen. 8302. Craft item. Oh, baby, look at all that stuff gone. Eight three one four. <laughs> give me a break. This should give you like, I don't even know, five thousand experience. I don't know. It should give you a lot. We're gonna throw this organic polymer. Actually, I'll tell you what. First of all, we'll turn this guy off. Uh, like I said, we'll throw this on the ground. It's just gonna despawn or uh, it's gonna spoil anyway. So there's no real point in having it over there. And then um, we could just take all this stuff out, and then we can squirt it all inside of here. Um, what should the sound be? <laughs> there, nailed the days the cave. We stopped. All right. So now we've got our industrial stuff and things. Also, how much does this weigh? Like 47 million? It weighs 50. So I would assume that it would weigh more. Uh, but uh, in this dark, uh, or wait, foggy, rainy day, we're going to head up to the mountain forge here and then see what the placement's going to be like for this thing. And we're back. Peace out, RG. All right. So first things first. Well, first things, second things, second. We got to make sure we don't have any RG, hot RG action around while we're trying to do this. I don't want to get attacked. All right. So we should be good to go. So first things first. No, wait. All right. Hold on. We got to make sure there's no hot scorpion action around. Okay. Is there another bird? 
Was that another one? Oh my god, where are you? you guys are like appearing out of nowhere. What the crap? Why do you hate me? I'm trying to do something with the peeps. Stop being a bird. All right. So, um, is the industrial forge, um, four walls high? I think it's five. So let's just go ahead and, uh, let's squirt it on our hot bar here and let's go ahead and, oh yeah, <laughs> it's so big. That's so silly. So it'll never, it won't even fit in here. It might be six high. I'm not even sure. But it won't fit inside of this structure. This structure is not structure-y enough for this bad boy right here, which blows my noodle. Hold on, let's put this away. I mean, I can't even believe it. Like, that's amazing. So, we're going to have to do a redesign, peeps. We're going to have to do a redesign of this. I think we're going to have to basically just take it up a little bit. Um, let's take a look real quick at how wide that is. Can we fit it in a two high? Maybe not. So we're going to need to build some stuff and things. I need a bunch more walls. We need more ceilings. Going to have to tear all this down. More slope ceilings. More of the little wedgy bits inside of there. Um, hmm. We can probably get some of it just from being here. Do I have any, happen to have any metal around inside of here? No. We could probably um, do some of the crafting that we need just by breaking down some of these forges. Um, and then also, what are you doing over here, homie? You still got some food. It's good to know. I know you can't see. I'm. I know. I know. All right. So there. Just move him out of the way a little bit. All right. So. All right. So we got to uh, close the door on this bad boy. You got to head back down to the base. We got to make some more stuff and things, and then we'll be Arby's. And we're back under cover of night, working through the night as any good person who has found themselves on the beach of some sort of an island with some sort of implant in their arms and then learns how to build rudimentary tools and becomes better at that and then gets a industrial forge and needs to build a bigger industrial forge room would do and so that was hard <laughs> we're here i've taken down a lot of the stuff and things we've got some building materials here um i've got a lot of them already um over here on ultimate destroyer so we've got our walls and i think that's what we're going to work on first is just kind of extending these walls a little bit and when we carry all of the walls it makes it really really hard now, um, one of the things that I think we're going to run into for an issue, yes, this will have to happen once the ceiling is built, is that um, we can't build walls over the top of that gate until we get uh, we get the uh, the ceiling up. I don't believe. We'll have to see how that works out. But all right. So if we go like one of these, one of these, one of these, and then we're actually going to take this up. Oh, good. Oh, good. Just waste it. So we're actually going to take this up um, another level as well so that it's three by. So this would be this high. Um, and that's this is where our industrial forge is going to go right here in the center. So that means that hmm, we're not going to build this out another level. Um, so there might be a little bit of jankiness to this building from now on. Um, but that means we'll probably go like one of these. Oh, no, no, no. I know how we can do it. We can go like this, like this, like this, like this. And then... We'll have to build these walls up all the way around everywhere else. So, like this, like this, like this, like this. And then, oh yeah. I feel like we're going to do this. Nailed it, Ace did can't be stopped. Okay, now, now, let us take a look at our industrial forge. We already have it on the bar. I think it'll fit. I think... So you know what we're gonna have to do is actually, we're gonna have to go ahead and grab our ceilings of which we have three on us. I built a couple. Um, now, am I able to, I'm not even able to jump that high it's in order to get that ceiling placed. But what I wanna do is I wanna place the ceilings, see if it's even like possible and then place the, you know what I mean? Then place the industrial forge and all of that. So let's come over here like a so. No, no. Oh, almost. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, we can do it. I believe in us. Everybody use your powers of thinking to do this. A little bit more. A little bit over here. A little bit down. Nail the ace that can't be stopped. Oh, yeah. Okay, we can't get that guy. We're get, we got two. We're like some part of the way there already. So then we can come over here. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah. And we'll make one more. Maybe we can get this one too? I feel like these are unfortunately mismatched a little bit. That one in the upper right right there is facing the wrong direction. Just don't tell anybody that watches the video so they won't notice. Um, okay, so now we go over here and we're probably going to need to start breaking down some of this stuff. Let's go ahead and demolish two of these bad boys. Um, this mortar and pestle, which of course is full of stuff and things, we will pull apart. Let us put a lot of this in here. Oh, I forgot to tell you! I got a Mastercraft crossbow! I got a Mastercraft crossbow! I got a Mastercraft crossbow! I got one! I got one. I killed an Alpha Raptor. It's the second Mastercraft thing that we've ever found, and I got one, and I have it now, and it's mine. So I have a Mastercraft crossbow. It's so exciting. Okay. So, moving on. No. Wrong. Incorrect. Yes. Better. Better. Um, the mortar and pestle needs to be broken. What is inside of you thing? Metals. I think one of these is going to have to go, and I do believe we only really need one, so it's not a big whoop. Demolish. All right, there we go. Now, oh, this is probably going to block stuff. The drinking water. Ugh. All right, we'll go ahead and demolish this tap as well. And that pipe too, I think. Can we get that? Stone water pipe. All right, let's get it out of here. Did that? Okay, everything over there is still floating. Perfect, floating. All right, now... Obstructed, obstructed. Oh no! It's like completely obstructed. Still. Is it higher than that? You're kidding me! It's higher than that. That's crazy high. Um. Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's higher than that then. It's, it's bigger than that. It's higher than that. And uh, we're just gonna have to build it higher. Um, I'm gonna do that. And then I'll be our beast. And we're back! And I do believe, yes, there's green. I do believe we're actually ready to do this. Let's go ahead and bring this in a little bit closer. Let's get it nice and evens. Wait, are we evens? Mm, so hard to tell. So hard to tell. Let's get on the edge there. There we go. No, we're not evens. Move over a little bit. Move over a little bit. It looks pretty even to me. I, are we in betwixt the two, the three walls? It has to be even with the three walls there. Right there. Look at that. We can see that beam right up there. And then I can't tell if it's poking through the back of the building. There's, I don't think, a way to tell. Okay, there is a way to tell. Oh, my gosh, guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit. Oh, no. Like, I don't know if we're going to fit the forge in here and then be able to get the dino in here. I think we can. I think I can. I think I can. Nail the dice. It can't be stopped. Industrial forge is a thing. We've placed it. I can't believe it. All right. Now, over here, there's a couple other things we got to do. Pull these and these guys in here and here like so. Let's grab all those as well. And then now we should be able to like a so, like a so, like a so, and like a so, uh, like that. Now, what about these walls ors? Can we? Oh, yeah. And then. Oh, 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 we had it. Oh, yeah. Nail the days to can't be stopped, dude. Hold on, hold on. It's not ready. We're not ready. It's not completely nail the days to can't be stopped. Flip gator. Hold on. So, um, up inside of these guys, squirt those guys back in. Grab that for some odd reason. Go ahead, grab these sloped ceilings. Pull these bad boys over here like a though. And, oh, oh, can we not? Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to reach them. Nope. Looks like that we're going to have to probably fly up onto the top. Let's see. Can we get Ultimate Destroyer up here? Oh, we kind of did, but he's going to fall off. Okay, we got to get up and land and then be able to get down. Boy, does that thing look crazy cool. All right, we nailed the days to can't be stop it. Now. No, wrong. Incorrect. There you go. There you go. Where were you? Where were you? So easy to build an arc. I had it. I had Oh, there it is. Nailed it! No, why do you hate me? Right, 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 right. Here somewhere I can do it. Why is it such a hard thing? Nailed it! Snap onto the side of that bad boy. You know you want to. Aced it? Kind of? Wow, this is kind of difficult-ish. Big time. Okay, we can get like that. There we go, there we go. And then... Okay, we're doing it! 
Oh yeah. It's getting easier. Oh no, why? Oh no! Oh, we hurt ourselves. Pugly's all the way on top of the build. All right, all right, all right. I know, man. Don't, don't. I know, I know. Let's go ahead and grab one of these bad boys. Go like this. Grab him like so. Come on down, homie. We have to jump for some reason. Fly over here, man. All right, let's pop up. And let's pull this last one. You and me together, peeps. We can do it. What I want to do. There we go. Nailed it. Aced it. Can't be stopped. We did it, peeps. A whole and complete redesign of the Mountain Forge to fit the industrial furnace. It looks about the same. It looks just bigger now. And we're going to have to take a look at something here. I miss. I placed these two guys thinking that that would be really a perfect spot for the storage. Obviously, now we're going to need that space to bring the dino in. So I'm going to build a couple more of these. I also built a mortar and pestle. Where are you? Right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move the storage and the mortar and pestle around. And uh, then we should be done building the new forge. And we're back. I think we should be good to go here now. We can just make a turn like a so. We can even turn around a little bit. You know what's really funny, too? I built that mortar and pestle. I was like, oh, we need one of those, right? We really don't even need one because the stuff and things, this is all going to be powered by gas now. So we got to bring some gas up here, and that's all we're going to need to get our metal action on. And that's it, peeps. Buttoned up. Nailed it, Ace. The KB stopped. New mountain forge complete with industrial stuff and things. It's cool, man, right? And it looks fine. Like, it could use some more windows or whatever, but I just built walls because, you know, walls are great. It'll be hot in there, though. It needs a skylight. Um, but anywho, so time to head back to base. I'm going to say job complete. And we're back at base. It's been a hard day's stuffing thingin', peeps. I got a lot of new gear on Ultimate Destroyer. We got to get moved around. We got the new forge done. We killed two gigas. It was a good day. I found an RG egg. I mean, what more could you ask for, peeps? It was awesome. So, any hoozle, that's going to be it. Wait, whoa, that's good. Wait, whoa, whoa.